I have carefully selected top 4 news making the rounds in Nigeria as of today and I'll be giving my blunt analysis on each and every one of them. So stick around to the end of the video, hit the subscribe button and let's get going! First and foremost is that Nigerian resident doctors have decided to go on a nationwide strike, 14 days warning strike that will include all doctors except the doctors that are treating our COVID-19 patients. And what that means for Nigerian people is death. Deaths and death, a lot of people would die as a result of doctors going on strike. What are these doctors fighting for? They are fighting for the payment of their allowances and salaries. Basic. No, no big deal in that. They are just basically asking for their rights. And the only way that Nigerian government understands is strike. When you down tools, when you decide to scatter everything, that is when Nigerian government will give you attention. And this thing is not such a big deal. If senators can be paid millions of naira every month, what is the big deal in paying doctors well? Make sure they are comfortable with good remuneration. That's all. The second news is the news of the Elders Forum in the North coming out to say that the Nigerian government under the administration of Buhari has failed them they are, because insecurity keeps coming up in the north every now and again and they have complained about it that the Nigerian government has failed and the presidency has come out to say that the Northern Elders Forum are just blabbing that they, their talk is just nonsense, they are talking rubbish. This speaks to one thing, the current Nigerian government under the administration of Buhari do not want to be criticized. If you criticize the government, you are either insulted, arrested, jailed, or even killed. Buhari do not like anybody criticizing him at all. The third news is the news of presidential tax force coming out to say that people are not complying with safety measures that will reduce the spread of COVID-19 after we are almost 15,000 cases now and we are recording hundreds of hundreds of new cases on a daily basis and it's not surprising. When you release people to do their normal activities, you are basically reopening the economy in a, in a population as much as Nigerian. We are, we are up to up almost 210 million people now and you are asking people to go out and you are not expecting spread with this population. Eh? It's a joke that you are, you are still not expecting people to not get infected as a result of you reopening the economy fully despite neglecting all the preventive measures that would have prevented this virus from spreading in the first place. A brief look at the street and marketplaces or public places generally will make you realize this fact. People are no longer wearing fake masks. People don't longer use hand sanitizers. People don't longer observe social distancing. So all these things is just is normal now. And people are just basically relying on their immune system to serve them well at this current period because the Nigerian government has not prevented this virus enough and now they are even getting overwhelmed. Lastly is the spike of rape cases as recorded by the Nigerian police and the Inspector General of Police has come out to say that over the last five months they have recorded over 700 cases of rape and as usual Buhari has called the guy come let's have a meeting and now Buhari has met with the Inspector General of Police to see how they can um, avoid <laughs> or move. In fact I don't really understand what the meeting is all about when the real issue is not tackled. The issue of poverty, the issue of unemployment, the issue of um, violence, the issue of many issues that are underlining that is the root causes and the issue of not sensitizing people the issue of illiteracy, the issue of a lot of things. I don't think these are matters that the president will be meeting IGP for. I don't know what the meeting is all about. In fact, all the meetings that the president has been doing are so far so good has not been fruitful. We have not seen any results so far so good. So this meeting to me is just pointless. And fingers crossed, we are expecting that meeting to come out right way. We are optimistic, but with history, we can judge that this meeting is just sound bite. So, that's top 4 news for you. I'm a political influencer and I'm passionate about making sure that politics is geared towards the best interest of the people. If that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.